Hello YouTube. Well, here we are then. Um, as a, a lot of you will, uh, I'm sure, know, uh, I've just had my stem cell transplant. I'm currently on, I think, something like day 27. Uh, I'm going to be here in this flat until at least day 100 in Bristol, so I've got a long time to go. Uh, one thing I do need to do is get back into playing. So one of the things I thought would be a really great idea and try and involve loads of people as many as I can is to start you know a new year new you sort of thing and um, start up with a, a hundred days of practice challenge uh, this could be a hundred days of a hundred hours practice if you want although obviously that's not possible uh, but it can also be a hundred minutes whatever you want to do just even practice knitting if you want to uh, that's all fine by me. Uh, the idea is set yourself a goal and keep at it for a hundred days. Uh, for me, um, you know, it's not going to be too interesting yet. I don't know if you can see, but I have really, really horrible crusty lips from uh, from really bad cold sores with the treatment and uh, and the bad weather outside and everything. So I'm starting totally from scratch. So today, uh, for me, I think is really going to consist of just um, some breathing and some buzzing. And um, breathing exercise wise, uh, I'll just be doing some nice steady stuff. Day one, haven't really played in God knows how many months. Certainly, certainly nowhere over Christmas at all. Just not been well enough. So I need to get back in now and uh, hopefully it will be uh, something interesting for you to watch uh, as well as encourage you as well that, you know, everyone's going to be doing better than me for, for quite some time. Um, but what we are, what I am going to do is try and get some, uh, some community-based things happening. So uh, let's find out what books people are using, what people are doing, what goals they're setting. Uh, I'm going to be using a couple of interesting things uh, through this process starting today um, on my iPad actually which I'll um, I'll show you now and I'll try and link them in some sort of dis uh, description underneath here uh, one of the things that I found to be really useful is this uh, application on uh, iOS devices which it's called Practice Center, but Center spelt the American way, T-E-R. Um, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, timers, metronomes, drones, recordings, mirror, video, everything. So that's going to be the basis of what I'm using today. Um, and then get into some, uh, some buzzing, I think. And um, I'll be doing that from a book which I haven't actually used before. Um, in my last year of college at the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama, uh, I was living with an American euphonium player called John Huber, and he got me uh, this book, which I, I certainly haven't seen or heard of before, and I'm going to give it a try now, uh, called Lip Flexibilities by Bay Lynn, which I think is uh, supposed to be a really big thing in America. So if uh, anyone's got any experience of this book, uh, if they could let us know what they think or, again, you know, up to you. If you've got different things that you like to use for buzzing, I'm, I'm completely open to to trying all sorts of weird, wacky, wonderful things. Also, I'll post a, a, a link in the description as well. I mean, there's a bit of a buzzing debate going on at the minute. Um, I don't know if you've seen... Uh, Christian Lindbergh's, or I think I think it's his own uh, YouTube channel called I think it's called the Tenor Trombone, and he's putting some things on there, and he's sparked quite a heated debate about uh, whether you should be buzzing or whether you shouldn't. Uh, so I'll post that in the description as well, and I'll I'll post the um, uh, a link to the app and the Baylin book uh, also. Um, so I'll get going now. First thing, boil your mouthpiece because I don't want five days in hospital. Uh, on drugs because I've got fevers and things because I've infected myself which by the look of my mouthpiece and by the way I remember it could quite easily happen 
So I'll get started and uh, we'll see you later. Okay, so mouthpiece boiled. Uh, did uh, six or seven minutes of, of breathing, so tomorrow will be eight. Um, I found some breathing exercise on the internet. I think it was an American uh, American website, which I'll post in the description again. Uh, I only did uh, part one though. There's th there's three parts, um, so you know, save something for tomorrow, the next day, and the next day. Uh, yeah, I'll be up to 100 minutes in no time. I hope. Um, yeah, I got the mouthpiece out and uh, did the first page of the Balin book. Uh, again, which I'll post uh, in the into the description. Seems quite good actually. Um, chops definitely feel a lot better straight away. If it feels this much better after every day, I'll be uh, very very happy. Uh, aim to get playing again sometime this week. Um, but with the buzzing, just I think you know that now's an ideal opportunity. You know, it's starting again. Uh, get your chops into the shape that you really want to. You can see, you know, people going about textbook chops. Is there such a thing? Uh, if it works, it works, I guess. Um, you know, you have a quick look at embouchures. I mean, you know, great players. Maynard Ferguson, I mean, there's a no-pressure method. But it worked for him. So it doesn't matter. And then you look at other players, um, someone I'm getting into a lot recently, Nils Langdren. Uh, so easy. Uh, if you want to see... a Probably the, one of the most effortless brass players I've ever seen. Uh, go on YouTube and look up David Dawes. He was playing Cornet. I mean, some of the stuff he was just playing there. His chops are incredible. Uh, it's so easy. Uh, I wish I had his chops. Um, this time, this time, uh, go work on it the, in the right way. But, yep, so I'll, I'll put all that stuff in the description. Um, so, yeah, it's my first ever video. So hopefully it'll get better on uh, from here on in. Uh, hope you're all enjoying the challenge and um, maybe you'll post some of your own videos as well and post some comments but until then nice to uh, nice to be on here and finally getting back to doing some playing and uh, see you all tomorrow